relation. So this is a question we want to, to solve today. I've, I've solved this question using pivot table. So I want us all to look at it together using um, Power BI to solve this problem. Okay. Now, the question says, which region ranked, ranked, um, the, ranked in the most revenue? Ranked in the most revenue, or probably the region that has the highest revenue. Who are, who are the top five and bottom five countries based on the profit? Display a line chart of the revenue by region across the years. What was the difference between the highest and the lowest regions? Compare the total cost of baby food items purchased by Africans and Europeans. <laughs> and I saw this question. I just laughed. I just laughed. Um, the fifth question says, how many units of office supplies were sold to the Czech Republic? or Czech Republic. The sixth question says, which country brought in the most revenue between 2011 to 2015? Which region was the most profitable in 2015? Which country ordered the most item and what item did they order most? Which region in turn, in turn country was the least profitable through the online sales channel? give hypothetical reasons why you think they perform poorly through online channel, okay? The sixth question, sorry, the 10th question says, from which Asian country did we get the most profit in the beverages item type? 11th, compare the unit of fruit sold to Nigeria to the unit of snacks sold. Looking at the data, what can you advise the management to do to increase patronage from the bottom five countries? So I'll be bringing in the, the data sets for this, for this to, to solve this question. So the data set, it's in, um, okay, let me just open new, new page. You go to home, then the data set is in Excel. So I'm going to kill, click Excel workbook to bring in my data set. It's for my local machine. So I'll be bringing it in. Um, I think I have it here. Okay, yes, yes. So I'm loading it. So this is it. So if you need, if we, if there's any need for us to clean our data, so you have to do transform data. But if you know that uh, your data is clean, that there's no need for you to to clean your data, then you may not need to uh, click on transform data. You may not need to do to do clean, clean as in you may not need to clean clean your data. Okay. So we have um, how many columns? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I think 14 columns. Okay, beautiful, 14 columns. So what are the things that we may want to, we may want to, um, we may want to touch? I'm not sure there's anything here that we, we they want to clean. I think this data set is clean already. So there's no there's nothing here to, to clean. Maybe in our next class, I, I will look for a data set that we may need to, to clean before we start to perform our, our analysis. Okay, so let's just close and apply and start answering these questions. Okay. 
that set is loading. So let me let me let me check the question. Let's loading question. Okay, the first one, which region rank ranked in the most revenue? Ranked in the most revenue. So that's the first question that we'll be working on. Okay, beautiful. Now, um, the region, that means we will we'll be bringing in the region and the revenue, the region and the revenue. So let's just pick um, um, clustered, um, column clustered um, charts. So making use of column clustered charts. So region and um, revenue. Region and revenue. Where is our revenue? Total revenue. So we have this is what we have. This is what we have. So the question says, I think we are good. Okay. Can you do that? Can you do it again, please? Okay. Let me let me remove this. This is where we have our visuals. This is our visuals. So I'm picking clustered column charts, clustered column charts. That's what I'm making use of. And I just click that. So the question says, the question says, region ranked in the most revenue. So we are selecting the region and then the revenue. So this is the region, this is the, we have the region here and we have the revenue region on the x axis and revenue on the y axis so if we look at it properly the region rank um ranked most the region with the with the with the highest revenue is the europe is the europe and how much is that? 3.48 3 um, billion. That's 3.481 billion dollars. That's um, from Euro uh, region. Okay, so that's, that's the first question. I mean, we have solved the first question. So the second question says, who are the top five bottom sorry top five countries first then bottom five countries based on profit based on profit so let's speak now I, I i told us something last week that anytime you are on this canvas and you finish working on the chart make sure you deselect it because if you do not deselect it, by the time you are trying to select another chart, it's going to overwrite what you have on the canvas. It's going to overwrite the, the chart that you're working with, okay? So let's assume that I'm, I'm trying to work on the second one and I pick this. You can see it has affected the, the work that I'm, I'm working on. So, I will deselect it and select another one. So I've selected another one. Now this time around, they're asking of, the, the question says the, um, the top five, the top five countries based on profits, the top five countries based on countries. So we select countries, just selected the country then based on profits, total profits. So this is a profit. How many countries do we have? We have plenty of countries. As we have lots, so many countries, so many of them. 
But what we are interested in is this. Okay, let's even expand it. You can see we have lots of them. We have so many of them. So many of them. But what we are interested in is the top five. The top five. The top five. So how do you filter it? How do you pick the top five? So you come here and you do top N, which is five. Come So give us the top five. I'm not selecting everything. Top five based on the Also give us the top five. Reduce the old stuff to top five. Okay. We should do this. Sort. Same thing. This is going to do it from. So let's sort the same thing. I don't know what's wrong with this filter, but yeah. Filter is not working. Hold on. Thank you. I forgot that I, um, I paused it. So let me take it back. This guy is sorting in descending order, sorting it in descending order, and using total profit to sort it. We can as well put this guy in table. I think the table will have been better. Let me put it in table. So if it's sorting it in descending order, we have seen how the guy is sorting it. So the first five, the first one is um, Kribati. Let me, let me put it in focus. You can see the Kribati. The second one is Qatar. The second one is Grenada, Taiwan, Malawi. So. Kribati, Qatar, Grenada, Taiwan, and Malawi. Those are the first, the top five. Those are the top five. Those are the top five. Um, the top five based on profits. Who are the top five and bottom five countries based on countries? That is, who are the, the, the top five? Who are with the, the first five? with the highest profit. So Kribati, Qatar, Grenada, Taiwan, and Malawi. So the second one, the bottom, the bottom five, we can as well use, you can as well use this table to sort it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to drag this guy. And it's no, it doesn't want to go. Let me use my arrow key just to move it to one side. I don't know why it's not moving. So that I can have enough space to put another. Okay, let me just leave it like that. So I can. Copy this guy. I've copied it, but we so I copied it. But what we want is we want it in ascending order. 
so that we can pick the bottom five. So that we can pick the bottom five. So if we, okay, this guy, I think this guy has changed. Uh, this guy has changed. Okay, let me, let me. Okay, this guy has changed. So let me, let me sort it again. Sort by total country, descending order. So this is, this guy is in descending order. Why this guy is in ascending order. Let me, let me sort this in ascending order using total profits. I'm not using the country. So this guy is using total profit to sort. Okay, total profit to sort, descending order, so that we can see it from the highest to lowest. So this, this guy solved the problem of solve the problem of the top five. Why this one solve the problem of, of um, the bottom five? The bottom five we can we can label it using this text box we can label it using this text box so we just write it um top five and write top five okay so top five is um, Ribati, Ribati, Kata, Grenada, Kata, Grenada, in Malawi and then um, Taiwan and Malawi. Allow it. Then we can have bottom five two. Bottom five ta Tajikistan. Ali, Italy, Cape Verde, so you solve the question and just bold it. Kiribati. Okay. Now, the question has been answered. Okay. So, next one display a line chart, a line chart of revenue by region across years. What was the difference between the highest and lowest regions? So, let me, let me open a new page. So we are asked to display a line chart. A line chart across region. Revenue by region across years. So this is our line chart. This is our line chart. Revenue across region. This is revenue across region using um, the year. Now, we are not making use of day, month, quarter, 
what we are after is the year. So this is how it's going to look like. This is how it's going to look like. And the question says, what is the difference between, uh, what was the difference between the highest and the lowest? Highest and the lowest. Now, if you look at the highest, I think this is the highest. This is 3.35. Let me check this. This is 3.481, which is Europe and Asia. And this is um, 2.005. So we can just use a calculator to quickly do that. This is the highest, which is this. And this is the lowest. So we just take the difference between the two. Asia minus, sorry, Europe minus Asia. Then we write, we write our um, result. Okay. So the next question is, um, okay. The fourth one says, compare the total cost of baby food items purchased by Africans and Europeans. Baby food items. Okay, so let's use our clustered column chart. Oh, sorry. You, you, you can see what, what, I, what I said the other time, that we have to deselect the chart we are working with if you need to bring in another one. So um, the baby item between Europe and um, baby item between, sorry, baby food items purchased by Africans and then um, Europeans. So we have our region. We have our region and then we have um, item types. Okay. Item type then um, we have our units sold. Beautiful. Now, look at all of them. But we are not interested in all of them. We are not interested in all of them. We are only interested in, we are not interested in all, all the regions. We are not interested in all the items. We are only interested in two regions, which are, Europe and then um, Africa, Europe and Africa. And the items you are interested in uh, um, is just one item, I think, it's just one item. Yes, baby food items. So what we need to do is we need to filter them out. We need to filter them out. So what we are after is baby food item. You can see, I just filtered them out. So what we are, what we have left is just baby food item. And now we don't want, you don't even want all the, the regions. We are interested in, we are interested in Europe and um, Africa. Hello. So we are interested in just Europe and Africa. So we can compare, and that's what we are asked to do. We are asked to compare. We are asked to compare the costs of baby food. Okay, total costs. The total costs. The total cost. Okay, okay, okay. The total costs. Not just um, the unit sold. The total costs. Okay, you may need to add this. Okay, you need sold and the total cost. Okay, which, which, okay, you can pick this. Let's start column chart, okay. This is the total cost, so how much? Okay, so look at the total cost for Africa. The total cost for Africa is um, 
Okay, let me let me just drag it here so that we can see it. Let me drag it here inside the values. Supposed to see it. Supposed to be a value. No percentage. Okay, let me leave it as two tip. Now, the, the total cost for sub Africa, sub Saharan Africa or Africa entirely is 187 billion. I think 187 million, 887,383. While the one for um, Europe is 161,105,000, sorry. 161 million 105,388. So we just compare them. That means we buy more of more of uh, baby food in Africa. So the, the fifth question says, how many units of office supplies was sold? To the, Zerg, to the Zerg Republic, how many units of office supply? So we are going to do the same thing. But this time around, we are just, we are just asked about the unit sold, just the unit sold. So we have our... Um, Countries, we have our item and unit sold. Now, the only thing that we are interested in, we are only interested in Zek Republic. Just Zek Republic, okay? And um, which item? Office supplies. Office supplies. Just office supplies. So how many of them? 36,086. 36,086, that's what was sold to Zek Republic. So the sixth question, which country brought in the, brought in the most revenue, the most revenue between 2011 to 2015? So we are dealing with Revenue now amongst the countries. Revenues amongst the countries. Country and um, revenue. So what we are going to do is we just sort it in, okay, sorting it by total revenue, then we sort it in descending order. So the country with the country with the highest revenue is Taiwan. You can see country with highest revenue is Taiwan with 113 million 106,945. So the company, the country with the highest revenue is Taiwan. Oh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't bring in the year, sorry. I didn't bring in the year. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. On that date. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. We have a year now. Let's hold on, please. Twenty eleven to twenty fifteen. Okay. Yes, twenty eleven to twenty fifteen. So who gave us the highest sort by this descending order? It's still Taiwan. It's still Taiwan, but the stuff has to be used to eighty eight million. Followed by Grenada, followed by Kribati, Rwanda, Canada, Bangladesh. Let's even take it focus. Okay. You can see it. Taiwan, Grenada, Kribati, and Vodavi. So the country with the highest revenue is Taiwan. Sorry, any question? Hello. 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 Is anybody there? Hi. No question, yes, right? Uh... I should I should just move on. No question. Yes. Okay, okay. Or uh, probably I should give us the remaining one as take home so that I can come back asking questions. What do you suggest that I should do as you solve this and give us another question? Hello? Sorry, I want everybody's input. Hello, I'm not hearing us. Let's all unmute our mics, please. Okay, okay, let me continue. So continue, the, sir. Okay, okay. The, the seventh question says, which region was the most profitable in 2015? The most profitable the most profitable region in 2015. So let me open another page. Uh, yeah, let, I just want to minimize this, please. <laughs> OK. Uh -huh, beautiful. So, um, I'm talking about region, the most profitable region in 2015. Um, profit and um, other dates. Dates. Let's see, Victorine 2015. Okay, so let's filter it. Filter profit when descending order. Okay, beautiful. So the most profitable region is um, Europe. It's Europe followed by um, followed by Africa, so Saharan Africa in 2015, in 2015. So this is the most profitable region. So the next question, which is question eight, which country ordered the most item and what item did they order the most? Which country ordered the most item and what order did they order the most? So, okay, this place may not contain them. Let me come here. Country. Item type. 
20 units. So oops, this is large. Okay, which country order the most item? And what item did they order the most? Okay, so let's um to do okay let me see if i can do let's see if i can if i can do sort by unit so okay and when you are sorting descending order okay so we have taiwan so if i can do Oh, this guy is not. Okay. Okay, let me let me let me use let me do this as a table. Okay, good. I think it's 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 better like this. I can see it clearly like this. Okay. Boy, I'm there already. That. If you look at um, Taiwan, Taiwan is the is the, the one that ordered most. The one that ordered most out of all of them. So if you now check which item do they order most, you have to check it one by one. It's 35,000, 58,000, 41,000, 49,000, 25,000, 36,000, 49,000. Is there any other pressing? That other forty nine thousand. Think it's office supplies. It's office supplies. It's office supplies forty nine thousand. These are this we don't eat. Okay, cosmetics forty one thousand. Oh, beverages, 58,000, 58,000. So if you check all through, I don't think there's anybody that, that beats them to that. Okay, let me, let me, let me, it's just that this country are many. Okay, you can see that it's they are the one. It's beverages. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yeah, we can see that it's Taiwan. They 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 ordered fifty eight thousand one hundred twenty five units of beverages. So it's Taiwan, okay? Beautiful. So you can you can take it back. You 
I don't want to ask this stuff now. Really. So it is Taiwan. Okay, let me let me just reduce this. Let me reduce so that we have it like this. So it's Taiwan. So the next question says, which region and in some country was the least profitable through the online sales channel? Okay, that's part, part one. Let's, let's do region first. <clears throat> okay, if I'm going to do this, let me, let me try and do this. Let me use stream up. And then region sales channel. most profitable. Okay. So total profit. Most profitable. So through online. Okay. It's just online so the most profitable it's um it's um sub-saharan africa sub-saharan africa followed by this is 497 this is 493 followed by europe Sorry, oh, sorry. Least, this, sorry, least profitable, least profitable, not most profitable, least profitable. Uh, this this visualization is trim up. It's called trim up. This is it. Okay. It's called trim okay. up. Trim up. Okay. Yes, trim up. We could have used uh, this guy too. Um, this I think this 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 one says it better. This is better. This clustered column is better. Mm. So the least profitable um, using online sales channel is North America. The least profitable is North America. So if you are asked of um, the most profitable, which is a uh, sub-Saharan Africa. And now the part B now says, the part B says, Give hypothetical reasons why you think they perform poorly through online channel. Give hypothetical reasons why you think they perform poorly through online channel. Can somebody throw light on this? Throw more light on this. Why do we think they perform poorly? through online channel. Let's even see. Let's let's see who who okay, let's let's have the two. Okay. Even at offline, even with offline sales channel, they perform woefully. They are the least most profitable. They are the least uh, profitable even both online and offline, they are the least profitable. So can somebody um, tell us one of the reasons why they are the, the least um, profitable through this sales channel or through any of these sales channel? Let's just, now that we know that they perform woefully both online and offline through this sales channel, Hello. 
Hello. Hello. Okay, okay. I'm listening, sir. Can you give us an idea on what you think could be as a result um, could, could make them to perform um, woefully? Any idea? You mean not America? Yes, yes, sir. Mm. Even Africa performed better. I'm listening. I'm trying to look at um, <laughs> <laughs> because they should have uh, their resident income should be more than Africa, so okay. <laughs> and they have facility kind of facility. So if we are now looking at both offline and online, and they still perform hopefully, okay, and then. Um, <laughs> okay, can somebody else try? Let's see, let's see. Um, uh, Madam Any, you want to help us? Well, okay, not America, okay. Maybe because okay. of the um um the residual income, maybe they don't have, uh, you know, what they have. Uh, North America compresses of which countries? Um, um, now looking at. Um, okay, let me let me let me bring them in. Let me bring them in. Then we just mm -hmm. filter it out. Okay. Let me let me bring them in. Um, North America, just filter them out. Okay, we have we have Canada, Greenland, Mexico, and Un United States is not is not part America. of them. Uh, it's not North America. United States is not North America. Yes, it's not North America. It's... Or probably they just they just um, classify them as North America, but I don't think they are. They are not. And not US is not part of them. And I know, I know, I know Canada. I know of Canada and um, I don't know Greenland. I'm not a student of geography. <laughs> but let's assume they are part of them. So these are all the countries. These are all the countries. So what happened? What do you think will have? Um, made them not to perform very well well us us is is that is actually part of them okay for us to be part of them and yet and yet yeah united states canada mexico and offline so they still so what what happened what happened? What happened? What do you think will have happened? <laughs> Maybe they, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Can somebody else, can somebody else to help us? Do we have marketers in the house? <laughs> Or do we have accountants in the house? Uh, and Mr. George is not around now. Madam Eni, can you bail us out, please? Oh. Madam Eni, are you there? And um, any, don't tell me you are using old um, laptop today. Oh. 
Okay, if she's not there, who else can help us? What are, what are, what okay. are we up to now, sir? Okay, um, we are looking at this, this set of regions. Initially, we are asked to check the least profitable um, region through online online um, sales channel, okay? So okay. we found out that North America region performed woefully via online sales channel. And I said, okay, let's even check. If we, if we, if we, if we check if they perform better offline, it may be like probably they don't have facilities for them to transact online. Mm -hmm. Then we check the online too, so the offline too. We found out that both offline and online, they performed woefully. So the question now says, the question says, give hypothetical reason why you think they performed woefully through online channel. Now, I'm now saying give hypothetical reasons why you think they perform woefully through both channels, both sales channels, both offline and online. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think the first thing we also, we also need to look at is the total sales. Okay. In each of those regions. Because the profit may be the function, may be a function of the volume of sales in each region. Okay, we should we should look at we should look at it. Total okay. sales, Abi. Yes. Against region. Okay, that's another thing. So let 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 let's look at that. Total sales via region. Beautiful. That's that's a good one. We are talking from the angle of um, maybe. Maybe a marketer or something. No, I'm talking as an accountant now. Accountant, okay, okay, beautiful. So, region, region, and um, um, sales. sales channel and unit sold. Sold, yes. Even with that. <laughs> so that means with this, that with this, one thing is that the impression is that, say, okay, that means sales is lower. In North America, okay, it's lower whether offline or online. Okay, and when guys say low sales, automatically there will be lower profit. You can't compare profit where you're having sales of six million to where the profit you make on that with what you make where your sales is less than two million. Two million, okay. The other way around, we can also look at it from the point of cost. Okay, what is the cost? Of those goods, goods. in each of those cost regions. of goods sold. Yes. Okay. It's possible for the cost to be higher in North America, maybe than due to the other regions. Yes, and the rest to get there than other regions. Other regions. Okay. So that will contract the profit. Okay. 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 That that's that's another one. Thank you for bailing us out. Then another no, another reason is this, which I think which I think will be a major factor is this. It's possible um, the people in North America, they are not so aware, or probably there are a lot of competitors. There are a lot of competitors in North America dealing in the same products. You get so whether you bring in probably those ones are even dropping it to them for, for them at their doorsteps so when you have lots of competitors it may affect your goods yes i, 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 still I, I hope i'm right uh, yes that means it what we, the, the effect will be on total sales now okay because you have competitors in north america more competitors in north america than europe so that means for for company A, 
if that if uh, let's say total volume of sales in that country is six million, and you have ten, okay. 10 different companies producing Computer, the same product, so they will share it. The they same share product, it. the same quality, yeah, the same price. So it's still a function of the sales it. they are making the in sales. that place that determines. Then, then um, awareness. Yes. Like adverts, promo, yes. buy one, get one free. So all those things can affect both online and offline sales. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What goods are they selling? What goods are they selling? here? They have a lot of goods that they are selling. Plenty of okay. them. It might, be, it might me, also be that America, America doesn't have the population for it. It might be the population doesn't use that product or something like that also. Population. Okay. Okay. You know, but there are some things that... All the items. A, like, let, yes, the I'm items. Coming. Let, let, that, let me show some of the... the market for it. I think we have uh, some of the items. I let me see. Okay, let me let me let me um, look at all the items like, that we have here. Oh, like let me example, let me bring when, it when up. When we talk about a, uh, Nigeria brewery, they are marketing baby baby food a bit so more than the north. I'm just using Nigerian brewery as an example. Okay. They don't have much sales in the north compared to the west. So it should be no 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 when you when you when you hold on when you are when you are comparing when you are going that direction, that direction that you are going to now, you are you are you are talking from another angle, you are picking it up from another angle. Why Nigerian okay. beers don't sell much in the north is because most northerners they are Muslims. And, and many of them I'm don't drink. What's affecting the North America here? Yeah. It might be the, the kind of good. Well, that, 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 that does not mean that. Not, that does not mean that. Look at the list of goods. Okay, let me bring it up in table. There's no how. Okay, let me let me open another page. So if you are looking, if you are looking at the population. Definitely, that means um, look at all the lists of items. Baby food, beverages, baby food, beverages, cereal, clothes, cosmetics, fruits, household, meat, office supply. There's no how they won't have a need for any of this. Yes, yes, yes. Are you, should, are, you, are you getting my point? There's no point. These are basic. These are basic needs. Yes. These are basic needs. So there's no how they won't have a need for this. So it's yes. most likely that they are competitors. Or, or um, this company. A lot of people are not aware about this company, only a few people, maybe only, only one part. It could be due to uh, maybe transportation, yeah, marketing like, strategy, like uh, yeah, maybe. marketing strategy and all of that. Uh -huh. So yes. it's most likely that those are the things that are affecting them. Because I was, I was shocked when I, in fact, it, it was not part of the question that we should check the offline. We only ask to check the online. And I said, okay, if they perform poor, woefully online, it's possible that probably the internet, the gadget and all of that. But we check offline, both offline and online. They are the least, the least profitable. So it's, it's more than gadgets, marketing strategy, competition, and all of that could have um, affected them. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for the contribution. So the next, okay, we have few questions left. Now, the, the tenth question says, from which Asian country did we get the most profit 
in beverages item type. Asian country. So let's let's pick the Asian country. Um, okay. That means we are picking the region and we are picking the country. Hello, ma. Me, ma. Me, ma. Pick up. That ah, that's bad. Long ye. Ah, that's bad. Long me, ma. B. So we are going to um, sort it. We are going to sort it. We want just Asia. And um, I think these are all the Asian countries that we have there. Okay. So um, which Asian countries, the item, unit sold, I don't want this. Let's let's Region item unit sold. Okay, we have this. So now, um, Asia, just Asia. Okay, so now let's get the country. Has divided it. Okay. What was the question again? Let me let me pick the question again. From which Asian country did we get most profits in the beverages item type? Okay, not unit sold. Profits. Okay, let me make this a table. I think it's going to be better in the table. Okay, beautiful. So let's just sort it. Let's sort it in um, sort by total profit and descending order. So the question says the most profit in beverages. The most profit in beverages is from Taiwan. Is from Taiwan. Which is now around 10,000. It's from Taiwan. Good. So, so the next one is, um, I think we have just two questions left or one. Yeah, compare the units of fruit sold to Nigeria to the units of snacks sold. Units of fruit sold to units of snacks sold. So let me pick this guy. Country item type unit sold. Okay, country Nigeria. Okay, and um, item. Item um, snacks. Uh, 
and fruit. So this is how to compare. So we have 20,460 snacks, then fruit 14,844. So that shows that we eat more of snacks in Nigeria than, than fruits. <laughs> okay. So now question 12 says, looking at the data, what can you advise the management to do to increase patronage from the bottom five countries? Bottom five countries. That is, there, there, there are some countries that um, they're not making so much that the least like um, Tajikistan, Mali, Italy, um, Cape Verde, and the other country. Uh, okay. Mali, Malta, and Malta. So what is our advice for the, for, the, for the management? What do we think we can tell the management to do to increase the sales in this region? Hello? Hi. I'm listening. Hello. Okay, hello, I yes. Suggest, uh, one, it could be the leadership style uh, that is adopted in this uh, bottom five uh, countries. It could be what, not so uh, the, the kind of leadership, the leadership style. Okay, the, the leadership, leadership style. Has their way, yes, it has their way of affecting as a, a, the market. The sales. Okay. It depends on how each manager drives uh, their team. It could be the okay. manager. Uh, it could also okay. so, be. So, what, what advice? What advice do you give to the management? Uh, they should adopt new uh, uh, leadership styles in those regions. They, they should, they should <laughs> chase away all the, all the maybe marketing managers. <laughs> The sales for manager, training. chase all of so them. So they can go for training. They just change your uh, leadership. They can go for uh, training. It's just an advice. Eh? Okay. It's not an advice to chase them. No. They are just receiving be... salary. They are not bringing in money. They are not meeting meeting uh, meeting targets. And they can stop them. I can change. Hello, they can take more. Uh, <laughs> 